And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where today uh, we've got 317 buckets of liquid lithium. So that's going pretty well. Uh, so I did end up replacing, I did kind of temporarily set up a couple of tanks here, and now we got the advanced black hole tank, which we probably should be using everywhere. And also hooked up the external storage, set it to fluid mode, and now we don't have to ever pipe this back into our actually full liquid fluid storage system thing. Uh, so we got 326 buckets of liquid lithium here, uh, and I definitely want to take advantage of those external storages in other places as well. Uh, not that I think it's too difficult to craft more of these storage blocks. Um, storage blocks. Uh, maybe, maybe, possibly. What was required? Why can't I see the recipe for that? I don't even think we can craft these anymore. I think the storage stuff, maybe you can only craft the bigger ones. Yeah, I think this might be the first one you can craft. And we still haven't made any of these dimensional storage crystals, but I think we can. I don't think they're too bad. Uh, so what I have been working on is assembling the bits and pieces we need for the pneumatic armor, which should be kind of cool. It'd be good to get an upgrade from what we've been using. Uh, if we jump over and look in our tools and armor. Yeah, we need these things, uh, which is a little bit more involved than I first thought. So you might think this is just, you know, the, the five compressed iron ingots. No, of course not, of course not. So we just need to assemble some kind of basic assembly line. I think all of these are the same. Yeah, it looks like they're all the same recipe and they just need the hazmat suit, which I think, oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. This all shouldn't be too bad. Not that I think we have the stuff, but Wait, we have no rubber. Oh, we can craft it. There we go. A bunch of that. Uh, so that should get us a bunch of that fabric, which should be enough to get us all these different parts of the hazmat suit. That's going to be a quest of some description. It probably looks neat. Probably looks neat. Probably not as cool as the armor we've got. Ooh, I did not mean to make belts. Well, sure. Um, so pants suit and the helmet let's let's check this out kind of cool can't see my face but that's all right uh, and then we're not going to use this at all and we're going to immediately start working on converting this to the pneumatic suit um, i might as well grab these rewards in case there's something cool I mean, those aren't bad in chance. I just, I just don't really, don't really need them right now. All right. So I think this is just going to be a temporary setup. We're only kind of ever going to use this once. Uh, and also, I had to, I had to disconnect, uh, <laughs> I had to disconnect all that uh, because it's just a little bit too much stress, which is cool. So we're very much at the limit of what that one windmill that all of that stuff is connected to can do. Uh, but we should be able to get away. Hopefully. Now, oh, we're probably going to want a hopper for that. And I guess I'm just going to manually be chucking stuff in. So we should be able to do this. And this is going to result in a half finished, half finished compressed iron helmet. And I'm just going to do that again. Five times for that, eight times for this, seven times for that, and four times for that. I assume. I assume. Probably not worth setting up the automation for. Just going to be a one-off thing. I mean, I guess we can slightly improve the automation there. And actually, yeah, no, that's going to be way better than it was. And we can just do this. Yeah, that's much better than what I did, and I think I would even appreciate if I had another one of these, which it's probably going to take a while, because none of the stuff's crafted. Do the thing. Eventually this is going to get jammed up, but that's okay. 
Let's make this slightly faster. Oh, and he's finished, and I wanted to grab him, but I didn't. He should get... No, he doesn't get stuck, but we can grab him. I don't know why the pants are stuck in there. Okay, they're away now. Nice. Because then I think that was the... I taught the recipes for... Um, crafting these packages and assembling this stuff, so we should be able to actually completely assemble this pneumatic armor. Uh, as for all the upgrades that we actually need for it, which I think there's a few, that that's that's going to be another story. Um, we got a bunch of stuff. I definitely want jet boots. Probably want flippers. Maybe want jumping. Definitely want armor. Definitely want armor. We don't have an enrichment chamber yet, do we? Do we? Got a crusher. Oh, we do have an enrichment chamber. Nice. We should be using that and a couple of them for improving our fuel efficiency. What was I doing here? Oh, I'm making salt. That's right. Um, we should be using that for enriching these things. And that would be a wise move. Maybe we'll do that. If we can auto craft those enrichment chambers, I might do that. Oh, and you're finished. Oh, how about you stop extracting? There's that armor. We'll tidy that up in a second. I can buff these in here. We should be able to start requesting these things. Nice. Yeah, that should work. Stored some sawdust. Ah, oh, for the box. Cool. Oh, I think one's finished. Are they crafting already? Oh, they are. Why are you so slow? Why does some of this look like it's really slow? Mm. Was it just that guy looks slow? <laughs> Maybe I've got too many speed upgrades. Yeah. Um, we also now have this advanced liquid compressor. So he can produce up to 20 psi, 20 bar rather. Uh, but he's restricted by this, this module, which is good because otherwise I think this would explode. I think this would explode. It's obviously still not helping how much pressure stays in here. I mean, it does kind of look like it goes up a bit faster. Maybe it does help. Maybe it does help. But hey. There is our pneumatic armor. Let's let's see what it looks like. Not a backpack. It looks cool. You still can't see my face. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. At least it looks more like a face and not like a weird um, insect type thing. Not that this was bad armor, this was very cool armor. I'm going to miss the fire immunity and the, the movement speed, and it's definitely less armor. And this has, is obviously all enchanted, and this armor isn't. We will, we will fix that. I think we definitely want an armor stand, though. Neat. Neat. Oh yeah, I don't think this armor is particularly good uh, without the upgrades. Um, this, this can all go now, we don't need any of this stuff. Um, very much a one-off, one-off temporary thing. Right, so this stuff all needs charged with compressed air. Don't think oh, I'm going to have to find somewhere, maybe right there, although I think it has to be its own line. Do we have compressed air here? We do. We need another one of those things we have our villager in front of. This thing, the charging station. Well, we can put this in here. However, that's not going to do anything. And the charging station can hold 20 psi. Maybe we want a separate one for that. Maybe we do want a separate one for that. So I'm thinking maybe... 
maybe we can get away with just having one of these. And then... I drop stuff on the ground, probably. And then we craft another one of these. Now the auto crafting doesn't quite work here. Um, I do know how to craft. I thought I knew how to craft a liquid compressor. I do, but it doesn't pick it up as the, the ingredient for the recipe. Which is cool, which is cool. Um, I've been working on these advanced black hole tanks as well. I need one more. I think I'm short of something and I'm going to hook all of these into it. Uh, so that we can just, you know, pump, pump fluids, stuff's crafting, stuff's crafting, uh, pump these fluids into here, and then we'll be able to process a whole bunch of oil. Uh, and somebody did recommend, which is something I didn't think of, uh, we can get rid of all these fuel wood heaters now, and use what we had up here which was this mechanism resistive heater uh, and we can use these to provide heat out to all our pneumatic craft stuff now which means we can just run it on power which would be nice we don't have to stuff around putting putting coal in here we can constantly have enough heat and that'd be pretty that'd be pretty nice that'll stop a whole bunch of auto crafting getting stuck yeah, a little bit of crafting later an advanced liquid compressor Nice. So, do we lose upgrades that were in that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we're gonna set him up. Hmm. Hmm. He's kind of gonna be in his own thing. I think. Here. It's kind of armor related. Maybe a couple of advanced pressure tubes would be good. Uh, and then we want that charging station. Actually, I didn't look at the recipe for that. We already have one. Nice. And we're going to want some fuel. Oh, I did. Did I? Did I? Did. They transfer fluids. I did get that other black hole tank crafted. So... I should be able to do this. Um, and then we just have to disconnect them from each other, which is always fun. Cool. Now this guy, this, it's annoying that you have to have nothing in your hand. This guy can constantly run. I'm going to constantly have fuel in here. And I can get rid of this. <laughs> We're not going to need these big things. Um, in fact, you can probably, if it works like this, it does, you just keep fuel in this guy, um, and we can chuck that here, put on that security upgrade, you should come up to 20 bar, you'll start increasing that, let's grab some speed upgrades for that. Speed upgrades and volume upgrades, perhaps. Don't think I need those other things. We'll take out the volume upgrades and he'll he'll pump stuff in faster for for now. Oh, we need. Wait. Oh, you've got the security upgrade. That should be fine. That's right, this thing produces heat now. I forgot that was a thing. Um, let's grab... Compressed iron. Probably going to want more... <laughs> yeah. This is bonus. No. Uh, we want some of those heat sinks. Um, let's just get a few of these. Yes, heat is now a thing we have to manage. Hopefully. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. 
Oh, we just get close to that. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's make you high signal. Then you can cool down. That's pretty slow. Maybe this guy needs some speed upgrades. Maybe some volume upgrades. Maybe you want some volume upgrades? Maybe you want to be on again. Nah, we definitely want to leave her. Cool. So I think if this has air in it. Oh. Oh, that is fancy. That. That was fancy. Cool. Now, can we stand on this and does it charge stuff? I don't think it works like that. Be cool if it did. <laughs> Would be cool if it did. I don't think that's how it works. Is there an upgrade for that? Dispenser upgrade. Oh! Yes, we have dispenser upgrades. Um, I don't know why this one's favorited for some reason. I'm sure that was an accident. Oh, that did a thing, and then we stand here. And it's not charging. It's charging stuff now. <laughs> so step assist is installed. That is extremely cool. I uh, definitely want to enchant all this. We need to we need to start working on those upgrades. But that is a start. That is a start. I, I definitely want all of these. Uh, we can uh, let's get rid of these for now. I did make that plant gatherer sitting in my inventory, but we want night vision. We want scuba charging upgrade. I don't know what that does. It doesn't tell me what it does. We probably want a magnet upgrade. Sure. Went all, all of the things. And I think the last thing we want to do is put at least some basic enchants on this. Now we probably are at the stage. What is rectification? Enchanting clues. What? I don't know what those things are. I think that's new. Uh, yeah, we probably could look at getting um, the next like higher tiers of enchanting now. Like maybe a sea shelf. Uh, do we? I don't think we've got. We might have that starlight crafting order actually, so I think we could craft that. We've got niotic. Could be doing a sea shelf. I don't think we've got a celestial altar. We can make a melon shelf. It looks like it's bad. Uh, or a hell shelf. We probably could be making a hell shelf. We totally could. Uh. Maybe I hold off enchanting then. Because we could get some really good enchants. I mean, nah, it's pretty easy to get mending again. We've got the villager. I was going to try and get some basic enchants. Oh, be better than that one. That one sucked. Okay, we got some very basic enchants. Protection 3, holding 5, soulbound, and insight. Insight's probably the best one there. Uh, we definitely want mending. We definitely want. A rainbow rune, which just gives it a rainbow enchant. No, no particular reason. Not particularly that helpful, but why not? And there we go. Slightly better. Oh, that, that animation is pretty neat. Wait, we have step assist installed. But it really doesn't seem like we're getting step assist. Now, wait a minute. I thought those particles were from, I thought they were from our armor that we used to wear. I see not. I don't know where they're coming from. But hey, and then we can stand on this thing. It's going to charge up all of our armor. Cool. Cool. But alright, let's leave it there. We got ourselves some better armor. We got a couple of minor upgrades to the factory with those black hole tanks. It's actually going to be very useful. 
uh, and uh, I think next episode we're going to work on upgrades for the summer. It should be pretty neat. Should be pretty neat. Definitely looking more techy, less ancient Egyptian. But hey, it's been classic stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, come back next time. We'll work on some more. Who knows what? And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.